they say laughter is the best medicine unless that is you feel like you are being tickled to death or at least to the point where you're about to wet your pants. Yet tickling isn't always a negative experience. Consider parents who tickle their newborns to elicit sweet baby giggles or lovers who tickle for flirting or foreplay. Whether tickling makes you giggle or cringe, we dare you to watch the following fascinating facts about tickling without cracking a smile or feeling a little tingly. Number 1. Your body during a tickle session So what exactly happens when you are tickled? In simplest terms, nerve endings in your skin send messages to your brain, eventually reaching the cerebellum, the area that regulates initiation of movement. The cerebellum is activated upon unexpected touch. As a result of this sudden touch, your body produces a tickling sensation. Number 2. Tickling helps us bond Tickling not only triggers laughter, it also builds relationships. In fact, evolution expert Charles Darwin noted in the late 19th century that tickling is a mechanism of social bonding. When a mother tickles her infant, for instance, the baby laughs and the mother tickles more which serves as a form of communication between infant and parent. Tickle battles are give and take episodes that may be the basis of social play. Number 3. Tickling is your body's alarm system. Tickling may also have another important evolutionary function like itching. Tickling may protect us by drawing attention to external stimuli like predators or parasites. This type of tickle called mismesis rarely produces laughter and is a reaction that humans and animals share. Think of a horse flipping its tail in response to a pesky fly. Number 4. You can tickle yourself. Why not? Hmm, essentially you can't surprise your own brain. Somewhere in your brain a prediction is made about the sensation your hand will produce and that prediction surpasses the tickling response. Number 5. Tickle spots are universal. Where should you launch your next tickle attack? Your best bet is on the sides of the torso, that's from the armpits to the waist and soles of the feet. Research on college students reported in the American Scientist found that these were the most ticklish spots. Vulnerable areas of the body are usually the most ticklish. Adding to that, other ticklish spots include external ear openings, genital regions, and breasts. Number 6. Tickling can be torturous. If you hate being tickled, feel lucky that you were not around when tickling was used for corporal punishment. During the 16th century, a protestant sect would tickle transgressors to death. Ancient Romans provided punishment through tickling too. They tied offenders down, soaked their feet in salt and had coats lick it off. Number 7. Tickling equals flirting. According to studies from childhood to adulthood, you are roughly 7 times more likely to be tickled by somebody of the opposite sex. Studies found that the most common reason to tickle is to show affection. Number 8. Tickling can slim. It's not a joke. Tickling makes you laugh, which burns calories. A study in the International Journal of Obesity found that 10 to 15 minutes of laughing burns 10 to 40 extra calories a day, which could add up to 1 to 4 pounds in a year. Granted, tickling doesn't burn as many calories as hitting the gym for 45 minutes, but every calorie counts. Number 9. Men like being tickled more. According to a survey, tickling was slightly less pleasant to women than it was to men, and almost twice as many women as men rank tickling as very unpleasant. This may be due to bad experiences related to non-consensual or non-reciprocal sexual touching. Number 10. That ticklish feeling can be fickle. 
Scientists don't know why some people seem more ticklish than others. Psychologist says that the pleasure of the tickling experience is directly related to the relationship of the tickler and tickly, which is why you might have more of a reaction in certain circumstances. A lover's ticklish touch might be pleasurable while an older brother's could feel like torture. So guys, let us know in the comment section, do you like being tickled or is it unpleasant for you? Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.